All right, we're working on the Baja, the uh, 5B um, fifth scale again. I did a little bit of stuff. I'm gonna show you guys real quick. Um, this thing actually runs extremely well. Off camera, um, I couldn't just stop like, you know, firing it up just to hear it run. Uh, it actually picked up fuel and ran and revved clean and stuff like that. So uh, out of excitement for that, I ran to uh, my local, you know, Home Depot, whatever, or Lowe's and picked up a pack of like universal you know um, priming bulbs and threw that on there and this thing runs great had to order the fuel lines and the little um, I forgot to call it like the little filter in the tank um, so that's still waiting on that but I made like I got a filter on here put all that back together and I started diving into the electronics so I'm gonna flip you guys around show you what we got going on and you know get this thing put back together so we can actually go run and you know go run it this afternoon so but this is where we're at as you can see the new priming bubble sitting in there i said i got a filter in here um cleaned all that up just kind of got all the dirt and grime work you know out from around it and inside the battery box this foam it just it's falling apart so i'm going to clean clean all that out of there I'm gonna get rid of this receiver and go ahead and this this radio. Not that there's anything wrong with this. This is probably the easier thing to do. You just throw batteries in here and um, be done with it. But I might as well go ahead and upgrade because I have <clears throat> a better option. I I can't remember the last time I seen a radio with a antenna on it. So I'm not a big fan of that. But we're gonna go ahead and clean all this gunk out of here. Um, I think this whole box will lift out. So I'm probably gonna do that and clean all this crud out um, and just put the battery back in here. This thing was 100% flat, no life at all. And I put it on like a little slow charger I had overnight and it's actually holding a charge now. So that's good. So if we cut, every, cut the car on, you know, we can see we got power and everything. And it's freaking out for whatever reason. <laughs> that could be a bad thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and do away with this thing. I'm gonna go ahead and take this out of here and just go ahead and upgrade it. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get that knocked out and then we'll fire this thing up and see if the servos and everything work correctly. So let me get that done real quick. All right, we've uh, got the tray out. Got it cleaned up and everything. I'm just going to show you guys and, you know, it, I think everything's working. I think I uh, had a little issue. It was kind of a little, <laughs> it was acting a little funky, but I think we're okay. Check her out. So got all that gunk and stuff out of the tray. Um, I just used one of my lipos for now just to eliminate the battery. Cause like I said, I was having an issue. So I threw it back on charge, but um, I think we're good. So got the radio over here. throttle so i think we're gonna be okay so i'm confident enough to go ahead and put some new foam in here and you know secure the receiver put it back in the car and get the trims and everything done and then we're going outside to run this thing so i'm gonna go ahead and get that knocked out show you guys the finished result and then we'll fire it up and take it for a rip all right so we got everything ready to go back in i got the receiver mounted with some double-sided tape and I got these little pieces of foam right here just to keep the wires from, you know, moving around and everything. Did the same thing. I just put a piece of foam, you know, down on the tray, squish this on it, and then I'll have one to go up top just to kind of isolate it from vibration and stuff like that. I didn't go too crazy with this just because I'm not going to run that battery. It's only like a 3,000 milliamp 6 volt, and I'll probably just pick up like some kind of big lipo that will like hold a charge forever. So you can run this thing for like an hour, two hours, or whatever it may be. I don't know, but just the biggest lipo I can stick down in there. And that way I can just put the little, use the little factory charging port, charge it, and it'd be kind of cool. Um, of course, there's more maintenance with the lipo, but still, this being gas powered, I just want to be able to fire it up and just run forever if I want to. <laughs> so that's gonna be the future game plan. But for now, uh, this will work just so we can go test it. So I just want to show you that because it kind of come together pretty good, I thought, and. Uh, We'll see how that battery holds up. Because it was like dead dead. So, Being the type of battery it is, I think it might be okay. We'll see though. 
all right guys so i got the uh baja and the corvette um kind of fits in here kind of nice fits in pretty good so i ended up throwing that one good rear tire head on because the other one's kind of bald so it's like one new one and kind of a used one a little bit of extra fuel i did a quick alignment on the front because it was like towed in really bad got all my trims and everything set so now if this thing will fit which i think it will oh yeah we're good we're good well there's a construction site right down the road here like so we got a little bit of rain i was gonna run it in the field but i don't want you know wet grass sticking to it so we're just going to go to this little construction site you know maybe like the rain will keep the dust down and stuff so um finally run this thing all right the place i was going to run at is uh a little occupied so i found this place you can throw it out of there and kind of run around a little bit just stay off there freshly planted grass it should work we're going for it <laughs> I want to like hit some jumps or something, but I don't want to get on the fresh grass they planted. So we're just going to stay up here and just kind of run down through here just to make sure it works. And I actually forgot, I wanted to put a throttle return spring on this thing and I didn't because that battery's got me a little, that battery craps out this, and it's wide open. This thing is just going to take off to oblivion. Um, so that sucks. I think we'll be okay. I'm not going to run it much just to run it to make sure everything's working. <laughs> Let's see here. So don't scream at me. Like I said, I know it's cold, but like I said, I let it warm up before I brought it over here. It's pretty cool looking though. I can't even lie, I'm already excited. Drop my hat. This thing is cool, man. Pretty quick too to be like the smaller engine. Uh oh, spun out. <laughs> this was definitely money well spent <laughs> you the straight smoking a lot
my phone and we'll walk down a little ways see if I can find something cool to hit or something. Um, this thing is awesome. I wish I'd have bought one way back in the day. But it seems to be working really good. I think my alignment's a little off. This road's kind of rough. Wish I could have found a place that was didn't have so many rocks and stuff in it. Or bring me a little board ramp and so I can jump over the little gap right there. It's crab walking. Does anyone else see that? It definitely looks like it's crab walking to me, like the back is like this and it's just kind of <laughs> struggling. There might be something going on. I might need to look into that. The suspension on this thing is totally shot too. Like I don't think there's any fluid in these things. They're really bad. In the next video, if you guys are interested, that's what we're going to do. Just rebuild the shocks. Go through it and clean it up really good. So you can see how bouncy it is. I don't think there's going to be anything to jump. Oh well, this thing is cool, man. I'm glad I got it. It's pretty quick. I wasn't expecting it to be this fast to be the smaller engine. And what is it like? Uh, is it 23 or 32? I think it's 23. I don't know. It says on top of the, the, the engine. So I'll take a look real quick. Yeah, I wasn't expecting it to actually move this good. I thought it was gonna be a little bit sluggish. Had like a, a fire hammer way back in the day. And it was pretty slow. 23. That's pretty cool, man. The suspension is really bad. It's pretty bouncy. might help me with throttle control. It's pretty easy to spin it out. I would say it works, guys. What do you think? <laughs> drive one-handed that wasn't working too good I thought I heard something loose check that out that's hot so 
But yeah, kind of heard it act sound like a little, a little funky in that rattle. So, all right, guys, I would call that a success. I don't know if I overpaid for this. I feel that I paid more than I wanted to pay for it, but I don't think I overpaid for it. Um, I'm really happy with it. Like, so I always wanted one of these, but like I said, it was just 1300 bucks was a lot of money to spend. And then on top of that, like I said, I was trying to race uh, eight scale nitro and it just didn't make sense. But um, yeah, this thing is pretty good. I think she's ready to roll. I'm gonna clean it up, put that <laughs> throttle return spring on there because that terrifies me. And I think I just wanna find like a big lipo that will go in this thing that will just run forever. Like it just, the biggest lipo I can fit in there that's like a six, seven volt. that's just got like crazy milliamp time so I just can run forever. Cause I don't know how long a tank would last on this, but this is already seeing pretty cool to me. I can just freaking sit it down, fire it up and go. So and as long as you have like some gas with you, you can roll. So that, that's pretty cool. Um, definitely need to go through it. Cause that exhaust coming loose. Cause it wasn't loose like that. That right there just reinsures me that I need to take it home, clean it up, you know, get it and get it a little bit more sorted. But, um, future plans for this thing, definitely a pipe. Cause I hate the little stubby pipe in the back. So definitely a pipe and like I said, getting it cleaned up and everything. And I'd like to take it to, um, you know, a big motocross track and tear around, you know, just have a good time. And uh, there's a curvy road that I think I'm gonna take an RC car to and have some fun with. So maybe this one. I think the, the gas powered car would be cooler because it's, it's bigger and stuff like that. And it just, it'd be cooler, you know, buzzing around some turns. But anyway, guys, like always, I appreciate the support. Appreciate you watching, and we'll see you on the next one.